Let's see how we play 3 Duco. From the main menu, select New Game. This will open up the Game Type screen. You will have four levels to choose from. Levels are determined by the number of givens, or numbers you are given, in the puzzle. The less numbers you are given, the harder the puzzle. Let's select Medium. The game begins by generating a brand new puzzle. There are several million possibilities for a puzzle, assuring you that you will never play the same puzzle twice. The game board opens in 3D mode. At the top is the toolbar, in the center is the cube, and at the bottom are the number keys, restart button, and clock. Let's see how we move the cube. The 3 Duco cube is a marvelous creation that rotates on all three axes. Grab any part of the cube with your finger and drag it in any direction to view each side of the cube. If you land on the side you want to play, but it is upside down or sideways, just apply two fingers to the screen and rotate the cube until it is right side up. Now that we know how to move the cube, let's learn how to play the game. The object of 3 Duco is to solve the puzzle by having a 1 through 9 on each side of the cube and to have 1 through 9 in each of the six color strings. Numbers are placed by first tapping a square on the cube. If you can see a square, you can select it. I look here and I see a 5 and a 7 is needed on this side. I select the pink, I select 5. If I wanted to remove the 5, I only have to select the X and the 5 disappears. Let me put the 5 back. Then if I put the 7 in the yellow, I have finished this side of the cube. Whenever you are not sure of a number placement, you can use the notation feature in 3 Duco. Select the notation key at the bottom. You'll see that the numbers turn white. In this example, I need a 1 and a 9 on this side of the cube. I begin by selecting the pink. I insert the 1 and I insert the 9 notation. I go to the purple and I do the same. I select the 1 and then I select the 9. My notations are now in place. To return the regular play, I simply tap the notation key once again and I'm ready to insert actual numbers. Sometimes a revolving cube can get confusing. Fear not, there is another view. From the toolbar, tap the cube icon to toggle over to 2D mode. You will notice the cube has flattened. You can view any side of the cube by swiping vertically or by swiping horizontally. Your numbers and notations are still there from the 3D mode, for gameplay is the same. If a side of the cube is upside down or sideways, use two fingers to rotate the cube. You can return to 3D mode by tapping the cube icon on the toolbar. Another way to view your 3 Duco puzzle is by color strings. To do this, you go to the toolbar at the top and tap the color grid icon. The cube instantly turns to one of the six color strings. To view all of the colors, swipe left or right. Gameplay is the same. In this case, I see that the yellow is missing a three. I tap the square, insert the three. You can also do notations. In this example, I need a five and a six. I tap the notation key, and then I insert the five and the six in both of the squares. These numbers will appear when I go back to the cube. To do that, I tap the cube icon in the toolbar, and I'm taken back to the cube. To help you solve more puzzles, 3 Duco offers two additional features. The first is Hint. Tap the Hint button from the toolbar at the top. This will randomly insert a number on the cube colored green. This number cannot be removed and will also add 20 seconds to your clock, so use it judiciously. A second helpful feature is Autocorrector. From the main menu, select Options. There you will find Autocorrector. Select this feature and tap Done. Back at the main menu, tap Resume. In your game, you will now be told when an incorrect number has been selected. Here I choose a 3 and it's wrong. I place it in the right position and it's right. As you improve your game, we suggest you turn this feature off to make your puzzles more challenging. As you approach the end of a game and play your last square, 3 Duco will take you to a game over screen. Here you will compare your game score to your best time in that level, as well as posting your scores to Facebook or Twitter. 
select one of the networks, and follow the login process. Truduco allows you to stay logged in from that moment forward. And of course, you can always jump back into another exciting game of 3 Duco. Since 3 Duco is all about completing puzzles in the shortest amount of time, you can view your best times and scores and overall progress. From the main menu, select Statistics. Your games, best time, and average times are posted by the level. You simply scroll through the levels to view each one. Well, that's 3Duco, another smart game from OBO Games. As always, enjoy!